Hello everyone, my name is Amog Rao and this is my project submission for the course EEE 6512 Image Processing Come Revision for Fall 2016. The topic for my project is Comparative Study and Analysis of Feature Extraction and Matching Algorithms. This is the outline for my presentation which includes an introduction, algorithms evaluated, image transformations performed, the metrics used for evaluation, a demonstration followed by results and comparative analysis and finally conclusion. Feature extraction is a very important methodology used in object recognition algorithms. Features are nothing but a set of key points in an image that together describe the characteristics of the entire image. Extracting good features from an image involves finding highly informative, distinguishing and independent features that are invariant to transformation. Feature extraction description and matching is a challenging problem in a real-time scenario. A good feature is invariant against scale variance, rotation variance, Changes, changes in illumination, uh, blurring, and for different viewing angles. Feature matching has a wide range of applications such as object recognition, object classification, motor tracking, 3D reconstruction, medical diagnosis, etc. The aim of this project is to present an extensive study and analysis of existing feature detection and matching algorithms and to evaluate its performance. The algorithms evaluated in our experiment involve scale invariant feature transform, known as SIF, speeded up robust features, SURF, oriented fast and rotated brief, ORB, which is a combination of a fast detector and a brief descriptor. Then we have accelerated case then we have binary robust invariant scalable key point which is another kind of a binary descriptor which uses a handcrafted uh, sampling pair uh, pattern and another uh, binary descriptor known as fast retina key point which is free the image transformations used for our analysis include scale variations rotation variation, contrast variation, brightness variation, and Gaussian blurring. We have uh, performed the transformations uh, by using the methods in, uh, described in the next slide. Scale variation is performed uh, by resizing the image using different scale factors in both the rows and the columns. To uh, achieve rotation variation, uh, first thing we did was find the center of the image, then obtain the 2D rotation matrix using the center and try out different uh, angles. Uh, we have chosen angles varying at steps of 45 degrees from 0 to 360 degrees and, and apply a fine transformation on the image using the, this generated rotation matrix. Uh, contrast variation was performed by multiplying pixel values by of the image by a scalar. Brightness variations uh, was achieved by adding a scalar to all the pixel values of the image. Gaussian blurring uh, was been, was used to for uh, blur variations. Uh, it was achieved by initializing the kernel size used to perform smoothing and then apply the Gaussian blur function with the kernel window size to the source image. For all the, these five variations we have used a wide range of values and we have uh, performed extensive analysis for these values. These are the metrics used uh, for our evaluation. First is the match percentage which is nothing but the number of matches detected divided by total features detected. Second metric is correct match percentage which is basically the number of correct matches 
divided by total fee total features detected this was uh, computed using ransack which uh, ignores all the outliers and finds the best match third metric is repeatability repeatability is nothing but a rate of detecting same features at different conditions to compute repeatability we uh, performed ratio test and we evaluated both the best and the second closest match using knn algorithm for a k value equal to 2 fourth metric is mean distance mean di distance is a good metric to measure the accuracy of a match a uh, knn uh, method was used to compute the mean distance between the matches obtained distance Uh, for a vector descriptor would be a euclidean distance and for binary descriptor would be hamming distance smaller the mean distance better is the performance of the algorithm and hence it's a better match fifth metric is homography error basically the reprojection error logs the error with respect to the distance between the measured point and the projected point this uh, metric quantifies how close an estimate was and the final metric is the performance because for an object uh, recognition algorithm it is very important for it to compute really fast to achieve real time performance so we have uh, considered average time consumed per frame as one of the metric and average time consumed per feature Let's first look into the code. The code was code was written in Python uh, with OpenCV. As we can see, uh, we can set parameters for feature, and we can choose different features described over here, like shift, surf, or a case, brisk, and freak. so based on what parameter was passed accordingly the detector and the norm is chosen the evaluation methodology is as follows uh the various uh, variance is performed over here scale if for scale variance we pass a scale and the image is resized and it is used for computation for rotation variance like mentioned before the center is calculated and the rotation matrix is computed and fn transformation is performed to change the intensity uh basically for contrast control we multiply by a scalar value and for brightness control we add a scalar value for blur x defines the kernel size and gaussian blur is performed thus here we can see for scale variance we choose a wide range of uh, scale factors accordingly for rotation variance test we compute the variance based on angle steps of 45 degrees for contrast for contrast variation we again have a range of values from 0.25 to 3 to for brightness variation we have a range from minus 150 to 150 which is added to change the brightness and the blur test is performed for 1 3 5 7 and 9 kernel window size so in the test function first the detect the key points are detected and described uh, based on the algorithm used then uh, these points detected and the uh, descriptors computed are sent for matching in the match and draw function it first performs matching used using the k nearest neighbor algorithm 
by passing the first image as the descriptor and the second image as the train descriptor for a k equal to 2 value. Then it per performs filter matches as shown over here uh, to find the best match the uh, accurate match and only good matches should be filtered and kept all the outliers should be removed so once we have all the good matches we perform homography uh, test and we accordingly compute all our metrics uh, correct match percentage match percentage homography error and also the repeatability by performing the ratio test this is the uh, explore match function which basically accepts the uh, match pairs and plots it on the window giving us a nice interface to go through the matching between the two images we'll be seeing that soon so basically this is the code flow for our evaluation let's go to the demonstration first let's demonstrate the surf algorithm we have used the standard lean language so first this is performing the scale invariance test for different uh, scale factors here we can actually choose the point and see the matching points it also uh, shows the accurate matches and the incorrect matches uh, marked by cross and all the green ma green are accurate matches as we can see with varying scale the amount of features detected also varies and also the match error percentage varies for larger scales the performance decreases accordingly now we'll be testing the rotation variance this is the 45 degree uh, rotation of the image and we can see for rotation the number of incorrect matches increases also the time taken to perform the matching and detection varies depending on the rotation this is basically the contrast variation test for varying uh, contrast of the image and we can see for this contrast the number of feature detect detected was very low and as and when it uh, nears the contrast of the original image the number of features detected and matched increases see like here you can see again the number of feature detected has decreased this is the brightness test as we can see for a really dark image the number of features it is very low for surf algorithm and as and when the brightness increases the number of feature increases and so does the matches perform over here we can see the various metrics computed for each of these uh, analysis we have the mean distance the correct matches percentage of matches repeatability and homography error this is for a really bright image 
again the number of feature decreases for bright images now it is performing the Gaussian blur test and for increasing kernel size of the Gaussian blur the number of mismatches vary but as we can see surface performing really well for different blurring window size now let's look into some other algorithm let's look into a case again as we can see for smaller scale the number of feature detected is pretty low and the number of features keep increasing as the scale increases and nears the actual scale as we can see the number of feature detected is pretty high compared to what it was there in surf and the time consumed to perform the compute the features and the matching is dependent on the number of features detected this is the rotation test for a case now it is performing contrast variation test as we can see only one match is found and the number of features and matches increases with it with better contrast this is the brightness test as we can see a case is performing really well for variation brightness and the number of features detected in match are pretty good this is the blur test and we can see a case is performing really well for different blur window kernel sizes let's look into one more algorithm let's try brisk brisk is a binary descriptor advantage of a binary descriptor is basically the size of the descriptor is pretty small and the matching can be easily performed using uh, Hamming distance which is basically exhorting the two descriptors and finding the distance between the two descriptors based on the number of ones we, we get after the XOR the rotation test as you can see brisk is not performing really good with rotation because uh, we can see a lot of red crosses with which signifies a lot of incorrect matches again for contrast variations the performance gets better as the contrast nears the actual contrast of the image you can see there's a lot of features detected and matched around 1400 features again here we have around 2300 features detected this is the brightness test 
we can see brisk is performing really well for varying brightness even for varying blur we can see the brisk has performed well similarly we can compute for the other three algorithms let's go back to the presentation and see the results we achieved this is the match percentage computed for all the six algorithms uh, for different variants this is for rotation variance scale variance contrast variance brightness variance and the blur variance from these graphs we can see that a keys performs really well for scale variance rotation variance for gaussian blur variance the match percentage is pretty nice compared to the other algorithms for contrast variance we can see brisk performs really well this is the graph for correct match percentage and again as we can see a case and brisk perform really well so does sift and for scale variance again a case has performed really well along with sift again for contrast variance the performance of brisk is better compared to other algorithms for for brightness variance we can see for minimal deviation in brightness all the algorithms perform pretty well and as and when the brightness goes away from the original brightness it degrades in its performance but for gaussian blur we can see that a case outperforms all the other algorithms this is the mean distance metric basically the mean distance should be as minimal as possible and we can see over here for rotation variance surf surf outperforms all the other algorithms after after surf a case is the second algorithm which performs pretty well here we can see even orb has performed pretty well for scale, scale variance for contrast variance the mean distance for surf is the best followed by or bell algorithm for brightness variance we can see that surf there's a fluctuation in performance of the surf over the positive side of the brightness but we can see freak performs pretty well for in brightness variation and again so if in a case our perform other algorithms sift over here we can see has a weaker performance against gaussian blur variance this is the repeatability test which is basically how often same feature can be detected under varying conditions and we can see a case and sift has performed well for rotation variance and over here for contrast variance you can see brisk has pretty good performance for a very wide range compared to other algorithms again for brightness as i mentioned before the performance is very good for all the algorithms when the brightness is near the actual brightness of the image for gaussian blur variance we can see the repeatability decreases with increase in the blurring but we can see the performance of a case is pretty good followed by surf next metric is homography error the error should be as minimal as possible for good performance of the algorithm and we can see over here for rotation variance shift has performed really well 
and for scale va variance we can see a case and all the algorithms are pretty close only freak does not perform really well under scale variance here we can see all the algorithms perform pretty good under con contrast variance so so is for bright variance brightness variance and gaussian blur variance the error is here there's a peak at gaussian blur of 5 for soft algorithm but it is pretty low this this is the result from the performance measurements this uh, graph shows the time consumed per frame for each of these algorithms and we can see shift and freak uh, consume a lot of time per frame and orb has uh, ve per consumes very little time for per frame uh, close to 80 milliseconds which is pretty good and uh, as we know, this also depends on the number of features that were de detected. Uh, so to be get a better idea, uh, we also have average time per feature or per key point. And we can see that Orb and Freak uh, consume very less time per key point. Let's go to the conclusion of our analysis. Basically, we performed an extensive analysis and from the results we can see that different algorithms perform best under different conditions. We could clearly see that surf and shift is highly robust against scale variance and for changes in brightness almost all the algorithms perform pretty well. Uh, the freak algorithm suffers under scale variance but it performs well under rotation variance and change in illumination. Sift and Akis outperforms other algorithms under rotation variance. The brisk descriptors perform well under blurring and const co contrast variance. Sift and Freak consumes maximum amount of time per frame, whereas Orb takes minimum time to compute. Orb performs best compared to other algorithms, but at the cost of robustness against variations. So this was my presentation for my project submission. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you.